What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the bunch tight end. I want to be talking about some things you can do in addition to PE boot over that I think are really slept on in bunch tight end. Not very many people know about this stuff. Um, and the reason why is because most people don't really understand bunch tight end. They just kind of run it. Um, so I'm going to give you a route combo today that I really enjoy out of it. I think it's really, really successful uh, for a lot of different reasons. But I will say you do need tight end apprentice or a hot master quarterback to do this best. Um, but most of you at this point might have at least a tight end apprentice, if not both. Um, so anyways, without further ado, we're going to jump into the video. Now, if you're new to the channel, I would ask that you please subscribe to the channel. I also wanted to let you know that if you're looking to take your next game to the next level in Madden 22, uh, to go ahead and check out my, uh, my membership, uh, my strategy membership. Basically what that is, is it's a way that I can coach, give out guides, uh, things like that. So we release, we've released nine eBooks. So it's a 10 bucks a month access to the membership, and we've released already nine eBooks for you guys for the year. So, and we've got a ton more on the way. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I would really, really encourage you to check out that eBook or that, that membership. We also do exclusive tips every single week. I just recorded a seven minute video that basically covers the nine, two, three, six formation. And uh, we do stuff like that. We sometimes, sometimes they're longer, sometimes they're shorter. It just depends on what we need to discuss. But um, that's the best way to take your game to the next level in the game. And the reason why is because it's just 10 bucks a month. You get access to everything. I've got uh, two offenses, and I think I've got seven defensive guys out. And uh, people are getting better at this game. We've got new offenses on the way. I've got probably three new offensive schemes that I'm working on under the hood. And then I've got a couple new defenses as well. So, again, you can cancel at any time. 10 bucks a month. There's a link in the description if you want to get access to it. Okay, so Bunch Tight End. And Bunch Tight End is one of those ebooks that are in the membership too. Um, so Bunch Tight End. So here's what I wanted to talk about. So PA Boot Over. This is a pl uh, it's, we're actually going to use PA Boot Over for this, but um, it, we're only going to use it for one round. Okay, and I'm going to talk about why. Okay, so what we're going to do is, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's not hash specific or anything. Um, we're just going to take the tight end. We're going to put him on a post. What we're then going to do is we are going to take the triangle receiver. This is one of my favorite routes that I've been using as of late. We're going to take this triangle receiver right here, and we're going to put him on a hitch, and then we're going to take the running back, and we're going to put him on an in route. And what you're going to see is this is going to create a really unique kind of route combo. Now, I'm just going to set up a general Mabel coverage concept over the middle here. I'm just going to put my user in a hook curl. And I want you to watch how this play works. So my first read is always the circle receiver. Um, if he's not open, then I'm going to look. But what you'll see is you have this high-low. And you've what you'll create is essentially a high-low to the left that is really, really simple but really effective at the same time. So again, let me show you. I'm going to show you two route concepts today. You don't have to do, like if you want to, you don't have to use the running back on a route either. Um, I think the play action is probably the best blocking mechanic of the game because that running back will pick up blitzers on both edges, which I really like that. Um, but anyways, if I just did this, let me go to against like a cover two. So I'm just gonna cancel the play action, sit in the pocket, and what you'll see is that post will get in a really unique area of the field. Now again, the other thing that I like about this is let's say, you know, let's say they give you a little bit of time in the pocket, okay? Uh, let's say they give you a little bit of time in the pocket, well, what we can do against the right coverage is we can still roll out and try to hit our post. Now, right there, he actually played it pretty decently, but there are coverages um, like, if I can find it, I didn't grab it, sorry. Um, there are coverages like cover four drop that are going to you know be a little bit more vulnerable to this. So we'll just come out and cover four drop, why not? We'll just come out and cover four drop. So again, peep it over, and then you see here we're just doing this, okay, something like this. And what you'll see is you have, a, it, it's basically a built-in cover four bomb. I just threw that a little too early because my controller slipped, so one sec here. So if you get a cover four, and again, you can still do this. Um, you can still do a delay fade if you want to. But I like this high-low on the right. Is kind of, the left side high-low is kind of a check down, but you'll see that is kind of what I'm getting at right there. See how it gets in that soft spot of the zone? 
for whatever reason, I don't know why God would always runs this around a little bit weird. Uh, but also, this is my one of my favorite man beaters in the game. I think a lot of people have started to kind of move to a man coverage heavy defense. This little drag route to Evans is really a good man beater. It's a very good man beater. Okay, so that's how I like to use it. Again. The backside will basically be any zones, especially if they're doing zone drops, because most people, if they do zone drops against boot over, they're going to be doing them at like 30 yards. That post will get underneath the 30 yard cloud, which is really cool. And then, like I said, you still have this this route on the right. If they're not playing hard flats, they have to play a hard flat. They can't play a curl flat or purple. Um, that stuff typically doesn't stop this, and I'll show that real quick. So I'm going to go to cover three. And my controller is just falling. Uh, I'm going to go to cover three, and what you'll see is just sit in the pocket. He actually played that better than he normally does, but you can still kind of cut that off. So it's a very tough uh, thing to defend, in my opinion. Now, the second route combination is a little bit more um, a trips tight end style, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to slant uh, Evans. You're going to uh, zig Brown. And then you're going to take Gronk and you're going to put him on a post. And then you're going to take your running back and you're going to put him on a table route. Okay, so it looks like this. This concept right here, really, really good against man. Really good against man. Because if they don't jam that zig, you'll see that that zig gets wide open. Even against Humphrey. Humphrey's, I think, got a man coverage ability, if I'm not mistaken. And you can actually, you know, again, if you have Hot Rod Master, this is, becomes really easy. If you don't have Hot Rod Master, just put the, you just need him to go on something to the flat. It could be an out route, it could be a, a little little uh, little table route. But look at that slant, look how open that little slant concept gets. It's very open against a man. Um, you still have your tight end post, and then obviously you have your deep post over the top. Now, let's say they play zone. Well, the beauty of this is you basically have essentially slant flat on both sides with the post. So you see here, if you watch the slant route, if I have a flat route that it pairs with, oftentimes, and again, the purple actually played it pretty good. Um, but basically what you, what you have is essentially a high-low between the two, right? It's all bad news, right? It's high-low. So if you watch this, like he's jetting to the flat, you know, I could always go back to the left side, or I could just take the back you know, and take the couple yards that he's going to be able to get me. Let me show you another example. So let's say we're playing cover two. You see there, I can just hit the table route, make a spin move or whatever, get a couple yards, real easy, real simple. But what I like about this is it looks exactly the same as PA boot over, right? It looks exactly the same, but it's, and especially the skinny post. So what they'll do, what I've found that they'll, will happen from time to time, is they'll fall asleep in their defense. You know, they're going to start coming down and try to take these crossing routes. And the next thing you know, you pass lead that post to the right, and you got a pretty good shot at a big play against something like a cover four. Now, how does cover three play this? Let me show this one more time. Let me show this post against a couple different shells here. So this is cover three. And I think cover three, yeah, cover three gets back for the most part. You're going to really need to throw it over the top to get it against cover three. Um, the slant is really a, an effective deal though. So if you do something like this, you know, even if you did like a streak and an in route to the back, you'd still technically have a high low and then you'd also still have the bomb. Um, but I think that's a little bit aggressive in light of the fact that, you know, you've got pressure, you don't want to like, it's, too, it's, it's probably too easy to use for that. And here, I'm just going to spy the rush so you can see the bomb. The practice mode rush is so bad in this game. So, see. I mean, that just instantly should. Okay, so if I go like that, this concept here, and then I put like a little flat route to the back, watch how this plays against cover three. This whole shot right here, see how I can hit that? You don't even need a streak on the field, which I think is really cool. So, or at least for the offense, right? Really cool for the offense, right? So you can, you can do that. Uh, cover two, I will say, I think cover two for the most part will be fine against this, but it beats cover four, cover three over the top, and then you have some really good uh, check downs in my opinion. But if you see this cover two, actually we can hit it, yeah. See that, we can pass that up against cover two. 
I think it's because we put that slant on the field. That first time we didn't have the slant. So when you put that slant on the field, all of a sudden now you can beat all the coverages. So you can be cover three, cover two, cover four, uh, over the top for a one play score, but you can also be able to just easily have two high lows on the backside for check downs and this play beats man. So to me, this is a really amoeba style, uh, just very effective concept. Um, if you have the time in the pocket, you're gonna be in a pretty good position here. This is, um, I don't know what I just called. I think I, I think I called cover three. With, oh, that was cover three with two deep halves. So you see the deep half doesn't necessarily do anything. So this is a really, really good concept, something that I really think you should try out uh, from Bunch Tight End. I think Bunch Tight End is grossly underestimated. It's, a lot of people are running it just for boot over, but you could do stuff like this, that, that is pocket passing, that makes it, I think, really, really good. So I would, I would encourage you to try out this route combo. Uh, again, I've got a whole Bunch Tight End ebook. If you wanna get all my ebooks, um, all of them, you just have to sign up for the membership. There's a link in the description below and in the comment section where you can sign up for that for just 10 bucks a month. It gets you access to every single piece of material I release, including my eBooks, my exclusive tips, my pro player breakdowns, my lineup updates, all that stuff.